Good morning, and welcome to St. Patrick Church. Our parish announcements are as follows. Operation Rosary Rescue. Do you have extra rosaries at home that you would like to donate? The Legion of Mary is collecting rosaries to pass forward to those wanting to pray and honor our Blessed Mother. Any and all rosaries that you would like to donate will be great, greatly appreciated. A rosary collection basket is in the narthex. Health Fair. Our St. Vincent de Paul Conference is hosting a free health fair Thursday, April 11th from uh, 10 a.m. to noon, 12 noon. All are welcome. This fair is also hosted by the Arizona Community Health Workers Association. Toy Drive. Our 15th annual Maya Douglas Toy Drive is underway. Toys will be given to the Phoenix Children's Hospital Ronald McDonald House. These toys bring much joy to many children undergoing medical procedures. Drop do toys in the blue bucket located in the church narthrix or at the parish gift shop. And now let us begin our liturgy. Still basking in the glory of Easter, today we celebrate God's unparalleled mercy. Out of mercy for all of us, Jesus died on the cross, anointing for our sins, past, present, and future. Out of mercy for those whose faith is weak or doubt is strong, Jesus comes to reassure us of his eternal presence. Out of, out of mercy for those who cannot see him, Jesus blesses them in their faith. This Easter season, let us rejoice for the risen Lord is in our midst forever bestowing God's divine mercy upon us. Our Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the souls of Helene Underhill and Madeline Carrian. Please stand and let us together sing our entrance hymn number 648 in our glory and praise hymnal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning to you. Good morning, Father. And welcome to this Holy Eucharistic celebration as we celebrate today the second Sunday of Easter, and especially the Feast of the Divine Mercy. And we are here in the presence of God to be enveloped in that love and mercy that is poured out for us from his divine heart, that we all may take refuge in his heart and enjoy his love, his mercy, and also uh, placing uh, our, each of us, our families, the intentions, and all those who are in need of God's mercy, we offer them into his divine heart 
through this Holy Eucharist. As we heard, this Mass today is being offered for the repose of the soul of Helen Underhill and Madeleine Carrion. Let's pray that they may enjoy eternal life in heaven, washed in the blood of Christ. Uh, also, this Mass is offered for the good health of Connie. Let's prepare our hearts to celebrate this love and mercy as we acknowledge our unworthiness before God and one another. I confess that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. And honor peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. Therefore, there was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to, to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Our responsorial psalm. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give praise, praise to, to the Lord, Lord for he is good. good. His, His love, love is everlasting. Is Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give yes. thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, 
and he has been my savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord for he is good. good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day to the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for he is good. His, His love, love is everlasting. Is from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who inde indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia. because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. <clears throat> On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks 
and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. And Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus Christ, Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I often forget I need assistance, so I run back and forth. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, we know that today, uh, being the first Sunday after Easter, second Sunday of Easter, uh, is always celebrated as uh, the Divine Mercy Sunday or the Feast of the Divine Mercy is being celebrate, celebrated on this day. And we know um, this has come, this day has been dedicated and in, on this day, second Sunday of Easter, uh, the feast is instituted at the very request of Jesus. Um, I don't know if you remember the opening prayer of today, as we had in the Mass. It says, God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast, kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, that is baptism, by whose spirit they have been reborn. You know, by spirit and water in baptism, we are born again as children of God, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. That is a very clear and powerful way of uh, inviting you and me today. The church is inviting, God is inviting that we may deeply understand, we may grasp the meaning of our own baptism and the mystery of redemption that took place through the blood of Christ. A deeper understanding of what God has done for us through His Son, Jesus. And that is why today, Jesus has asked to celebrate the Feast of the Divine Mercy to once again re-emphasize, communicate to us the power of His love, the power of His mercy, and how His heart is open for us always. And this revelation, this request Jesus made 
to a simple, ordinary, in fact, uneducated nun. You must have heard of Saint Faustina. Saint Faustina, yeah, it is through a uh, cheese from Poland, and uh, it is 1930s. These visions, this revelation, this private revelation took place uh, to uh, this simple nun, Faustina. Uh, I say she is uneducated. If you read her life history, and I would, uh, I would uh, strongly recommend uh, when you go back, please take hold of this book, uh, order and get that book. It's at least the diary of Saint Faustina. There are one is abridged one. There is an, uh, one elaborate one, complete message that gives you who she is, and then how Jesus began to appear to her, reveal, you know, their private revelations about uh, different uh, things that we believe already in the church, uh, how Jesus spoke to her personally, you know, inviting the humanity to take refuge in his loving and merciful heart. Those conversations are so powerful Definitely, they will touch our lives and transform our lives. You know, I'm sure we all read novels and magazines and, you know, a lot of other things. Uh, make little place for this too. Buy a book, uh, The Diary. I think we have also in our shop, uh, there is a book on uh, St. Faustina uh, in our book sh uh, bookshop here. So even you can uh, get uh, one of those. Um, now, it is... Through her, Jesus made this request that this Sunday be dedicated as a Divine Mercy Sunday and His mercy be celebrated. And He promises that on this day, a very special grace is given to every soul that comes to Him. Not only on this day, it's every day, but this day is very special. You know, every day we celebrate life, but when the birthday comes, we make it special, isn't it? Yeah, every day we celebrate life, but when the birthday comes, that is very special. It is something like that. God is making a very special offer on this day, you know, but every day his heart is open. Every moment his heart is open. Now, I would like to read to you uh, from the diary of uh, Saint Faustina, um, where he opens his heart, in fact, with, uh, with pain, uh, um, you know, in spite of his love is being poured into our hearts, his mercy is poured into uh, our, our souls, uh, in spite of that, uh, still souls, people perish in eternal death. So he comes to her and says with a, a heavy heart, you know, he's asking, uh, let my children come to me. And what really breaks his heart is what we heard today in the gospel. Repeatedly we heard this one word, believe. Believe. Believe in what? Believe in his love. Believe in his mercy. Believe in the forgiveness that he has offered. Accept his love, accept his mercy. And he is so heavy heartly, with a heavy heart he shares, saying that many reject my love. Many do not believe in my mercy. They are indifferent. And as a result, uh, the consequences, they, the souls die in eternal death. So look at these words. This is these words given uh, uh, here are taken from the diary of Jesus speaking to Saint Faustina. He says, "Souls perish in spite of my bitter passion. I am giving them the feast of my mercy, and if they will not adore my mercy, they will perish for all eternity." Secretary of my mercy. That's how Jesus called Faustina, Saint Faustina, Secretary of mercy. So he says, Secretary of my mercy, write it down. Tell souls about this great mercy of mine because 
the awful day the day of my justice is near my daughter tell the whole world about my inconceivable mercy i desire that the feast of mercy be a refuge and shelter for all souls and especially for poor sinners on that day the very depths of my tender mercy are open i pour out a whole ocean of graces upon those souls who approach the fount of my mercy the soul that will go to confession and receive holy communion shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment on that day all the divine flood gates through which grace flow are opened let no soul fear to draw near to me even though its sins be as scarlet my mercy is so great that no mind be it of man or of angel will be able to fathom it throughout all eternity everything that exists has come forth from the very depths of my most tender mercy every soul in its relation to me will contemplate my love and mercy throughout eternity the feast of mercy emerged from my very depths of tenderness it is my desire that it be solemnly celebrated on the first sunday after easter mankind will not have peace until it turns to the fount of my mercy this is a one small piece of um a uh, message given by jesus and as you go into the uh, diary you will you will see uh, profound revelations of his love and his mercy all meant for only one thing to invite you and me to come and enjoy his love and mercy now whenever we hear of divine mercy and whenever we hear of saint faustina what comes to our mind is this image that we have today you go to any catholic church you will have this image maybe in front or at the side or the back of the church the image of the divine mercy i'm sure you have seen this picture this is an image this is uh, this is how jesus revealed his divine mercy to uh, saint faustina and there is a very special meaning uh, that is uh, revealed uh, through this image these two rays that we have here the red one and this pale white one they represent two things that we heard even in in the, in the very in the very um, message that i read now do you remember he says that the soul that goes for confession and receives holy communion the this ray the red one represents the life of souls blood is always a sign of life blood is sign of life so the blood uh, signifies the life of souls and this water signifies our baptism so you you saw that in in the opening prayer you know that we may deeply understand the meaning of baptism what it means to be reborn in the spirit so we were born again in the spirit to, in in our baptism so this uh, represents baptism and uh, the rebirth through the spirit and this is uh, represents the eucharist the body and blood of christ and jesus said that unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood you will not have life in you so to have life that he says eat of my flesh and drink of my blood so the eucharist and the baptism the two sacraments and there is an another sacrament that is implied 
uh, in this is also the sacrament of confession. So we heard that today, confession and the Eucharist. Now why are they so important? As I told you, the first sacrament is because that is what he offered for our life, his flesh and his blood. And in the baptism, that we were washed of our original sin and we have received our new life, that means in baptism, all our sins are forgiven. We were made completely worthy and holy, immaculate. That's, that's what we were made. But what happens after that? We know that as we keep growing, we do choose to sin. We do fall into sin. We are stained. And then God has given an another uh, sacrament which continues uh, to keep us uh, in the state of grace. That is a sacrament of confession, reconciliation. So whenever we go to the sacrament of reconciliation or confession, when we open our heart and just we surrender our sinfulness to Christ and say, Lord, I need your mercy. I need to be once again washed as I was washed in my baptism, made clean and worthy and child of God. I need to be washed again. And when I go to the confession, when I open my heart, when I surrender my sin, once again, I am washed by the blood of Christ. I am washed by the Spirit of the Lord, and I am reborn again. And I come back out of this confessional as born again, a new creation. See, what a beautiful gift that God has given to us. And that is what we hear Jesus doing on this day. That is every time. Every time I feel that I need to be cleansed and washed and made worthy and holy, I go for confession. I'm cleansed again. And that's why always I request, make it as often as possible, not once in a year or twice in a year. Christmas, Easter, no. We don't sin only on Christmas and Easter. <laughs> we sin every day. And every day we need God's mercy. And at least once a month it will be beautiful for us, you know, to keep our souls in the state of grace and to receive his holy body and blood every time we approach the altar of God with a worthy heart. So that is, that, that's a great revelation that we have is, you know, uh, the Eucharist and uh, the baptism at the, which is renewed in the confession. So Eucharist and confession which Jesus asks today. My dear brothers and sisters, we know that these are beautiful gifts that God has given. Many of you I have shared with you how real they are. They are, uh, you know, about my cousin, which I shared with you many times. When she received Holy Communion, um, maybe if anybody is here who, is, who does not know about my cousin, I have a cousin back in India who receives the five wounds of Jesus, stigmata, for the last 23 years. And then, uh, there are times, you know, three times at least in 23 years when she received Holy Communion in the Mass from the priest. She, as soon as she received the Holy Communion, it turned into flesh and blood in her tongue. To tell you and me today, this is my flesh, this is my blood, I am alive. That is, I'm talking about what's going on now in our church today. And more than 100 times she received Holy Communion from Jesus, of which twice I was with her. I saw with my own eyes she receiving Holy Communion from Jesus. I am an eyewitness to that. Second thing is, I also told you about the confession. Many go, don't go for confession thinking that, it is. why should I go to another man and open my heart and say all my sins? And I told you how, again, Jesus reinforced that our faith in this sacrament, today we heard in the gospel, whosoever, this authority is given by Jesus to the church. Whoever sins you, are forgi you forgive are forgiven. It is not on the authority of any, any other name. It is in the authority of the name of Jesus. That is why it is the absolution is given in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, you are forgiven. Who has given the authority? Jesus gave the authority. Where do we find? Today's scripture says, gospel says, I give you the authority. And who forgives? Jesus forgives, God forgives. 
and I talked about my cousin. Uh, one day she, uh, she was uh, coming in the church and, uh, uh, you know, for a daily mass, she goes every day for the mass. As she entered the church, she wanted to make a confession. So at the right side of the church, as you enter, just like we have our confessional, there is a confessional. So she went in and she made her confession to the priest. And after making the confession, she made a few steps forward. You know, she wanted to come and sit in front and do her penance and prepare for the mass. As she took a few steps from the confessional, she saw the priest coming from the sacristy with the mass missile and coming to the altar to, uh, to prepare for the mass. She couldn't understand what was going on because she saw the priest in the confessional. She made her confession. How is it possible that he could reach so quick behind and then he's already here? No way, because I myself know the priest. He's very elderly, but no way he, he, he can run around. So he asked, Father, how did you reach here? Just now I made my confession. You were in the confessional, and how, how, how is that you're here already? The priest said, what? This is when I'm coming from the rectory. I am getting ready for the mass. It is after this I'm going to go to the confessional. I was not in the confessional. And then she wanted to make sure she looked back if there was someone sitting in the confessional, if she watching whom she saw is real. When she saw the confessional, she saw someone sitting there. You know who was that? Jesus. Just smiling at her, smiled at her and disappeared. She was, you know, she couldn't believe what happened. She came and she did her penance and then participated uh, uh, in the Mass. When she received the Holy Communion, Jesus began to speak to her from her heart after receiving the Eucharist. She said, you know, Jesus said, at every confessional, in the instrumentality, in the form of a priest, it is I who sit. It's I who forgive. It is I who give graces. Praise the Lord. See what a wonderful gift that God has given to us. He is revealing today, he is through a private revelation, just like he revealed through to Saint Faustina, through this image and through so many messages. Even today, through my cousin, he's revealing, reinforcing, yes, Eucharist is my body, is my flesh. This is for your life, life of souls. And con the confession, I continue to lavish you, wash you with my precious blood, and uh, shower you with my, my mercy. What else do we need, my dear children? God wants us. That's why today's feast is in, meant to invite you and me to come His divine heart, enjoy His love, enjoy His mercy, and receive eternal life. Amen. Kindly stand. <clears throat> I believe in one God. Thank you. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, Son of God. spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Then I look forward to the resurrection of the dead 
in the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters, God's mercy endures forever. And so we can confidently bring our needs before the Lord, asking for the mercy we seek. Today, let us pray in response. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the church, that we may be bearers of God's mercy to all who need it, especially those we find ourselves doubting God's presence in their lives, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an end to armed conflict and to gun violence, so that all God's children may enjoy the peace that Jesus offers, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who struggle to believe in a merciful God in the face of evil and sin in the world, that Jesus' promise of redemptive presence in the broken world may strengthen our faith and give us hope, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may bless our parish, strengthen our faith, and grant us the spirit of Christian stewardship by opening our hearts to the annual Catholic appeal, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all our sick and suffering, that they may gain strength in the Lord, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for our faithful departed, for the repose of the souls of Helene Underhill and Madeline Kurian, may these who have believed in Jesus have life in his name, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all our prayers that we hold dear in the silence of our hearts, and for all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken, we pray. Risen, Risen Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Merciful God, your Son comes to us in time of need, granting us peace. Hear these needs of a needy people and grant them in your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. May it become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, accept the sacrifice we offer you with the humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away all my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Jesus. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O oh Lord, we pray the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, to lord you at more gloriously when christ or passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy <clears throat> Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the Highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, <clears throat> when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward Weissenberger, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, but especially, Lord, today, remember and pray for Helen Underhill and Madeline 
Kyrian, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Patrick, Saint Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's call upon our Heavenly Father in the words of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of our Lord now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter unto my roof, but only so the word and my soul shall be healed. But the body and blood of Jesus Christ bring to life to us to receive it. Let us together say our communion antiphon located on page 129 of your missile. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Bring your hand and feel the place of the nails. The body of Christ. And do not be unbelieving, but believing. Alleluia. The blood of Christ. The body of Christ. The 
body of Christ. See my hands and look at my feet. The body of Christ. It's okay if it's hard to believe. I have faith that you will do greater things. It's my time to go. The body of Christ. But before I leave, the body of Christ. go tell the, of Christ. the world about me. The body of Christ. I was dead, but now the body of I live. The body of Christ. I've got to go now for a little while. But goodbye. Is not Father, the Son, end. Don't the forget the things that I taught you. I've conquered death and I hold the keys. The body of Christ. Where I go, you Christ. will go to someday. But there's much to do here before you leave. The body of Christ. Go tell the world about me. I was dead, but now I live. The Son and Holy Spirit bless you. I've got to go now for a little But goodbye is not the end of the the journey, the end of the road. My spirit is with you wherever you go. You have a purpose and I have a plan. I'll make you this promise. I'll come back again, but until then, go tell the world about me. The body of Christ. I was dead, but now I live. The body of Christ. I've got to go now for a little while. But goodbye is not the end. Go tell the world about me. I was dead, but now I live. I've got to go now for a little while. But goodbye is not the end.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly bow down for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, may you as to an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed week. You too, Father. Please join in the recessional hymn number 673 in your glory and praise hymnal. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day.